which verse of the Quran sticks out to you the most and why? Okay, which verse of the Quran sticks out for me the most? Actually, like I said, and like I would always say, uh, every time I'm asked about favorite verses, or uh, every time you read the Quran, there are different verses that actually uh, stick out because of the problems you may be going through or the situation you may be facing at that particular time. So different verses stick out. But in general, I can tell you, there is a surah that moves me the most, two surahs. Short ones. One is al-duha and the other one is surah al-sharh. Wal-duha wal-layli idha saja ma wadda'aka rabbuka wa ma qala. That verse itself. Ma wadda'aka rabbuka wa ma qala. Wal al-akhiratu khayrun laka min al-ula wa la sawfa yu'atika rabbuka fatarda. So the two verses. Ma wadda'aka rabbuka wa ma qala. And wa la sawfa yu'atika rabbuka fatarda. They stick out the most for me. They, they impact upon me. They make me ponder deeply every time I read them. And what they mean, just for the benefit of everyone, where the Prophet ﷺ, uh, revelation had stopped for a time, and then he thought, maybe Allah's upset with me, maybe you know, Allah has left me, forsaken me. So Allah revealed a verse to him to say, Allah has not forsaken you. He's not upset with you. It happens to all of us, certain things happen negatively. Sometimes we struggle, sometimes we struggle for a long time, and we think maybe Allah's upset with me, and perhaps, you know, and then you read this verse and you say, no, he's not. He's not. You know, he's not upset with me. And he hasn't left me. And then uh, a verse down, Allah says, وَلَسَوْفَ يُعْطِيكَ رَبُّكَ فَتَرْضَى And very soon Allah will give you so much until you become happy. So you might not have it right now and you will get it. So sometimes we want something, we... You know, we look forward to things and they don't come our way. And Allah says, hang on, it's going to come. Something quick I can share with you. I went to Tanzania many years ago, many years ago. The people from the University of Zanzibar had invited me. And these were youngsters. They had very little resources. And I had traveled from Zimbabwe to Kenya. And when I spoke to them, and then they had a vote of thanks after the two days or three days. And I remember the brother, his name is Saeed. Now we are friends. It's been years. It's been more than 10, 12 years. And he just said, we have, uh, we have something to offer you, and that is a verse of the Qur'an. And I'm thinking, you know, when you have a, when you have a, a vote of thanks, people come and give you a plaque, they give you a gift, they give you something, uh, they'll give you uh, something that you can take back home. And he says, we have a verse of the Qur'an uh, to give you, uh, and, and that is, وَلَسَوْفَ يُعْطِيكَ رَبُّكَ فَتَرْضَى He says, indeed, Allah will bless you so much until you are happy. And that was the first time in my life that a different meaning, a different, you know, part of that verse dawned on me. And it stuck with me ever since and it's really moved me. And so that surah and the next surah is all about difficulty and, and, and hardship. I think I can invite everyone, if you have a moment, to go and look at those two surahs. They really soothe me. They bring about a lot of calmness. I just have to read them and I'm just blown away. MashaAllah.